Today, I'm going to show you three different ways to create circles in GIMP. The last one is going to be awesome. And at the end, I have a bonus for you as well. So if you are ready, let's do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn these layers off here. Let's go ahead and create a new layer for our circle. I'm going to call it circle option one. And the first option for creating a circle is grabbing your ellipse select tool which you can do from your toolbar or by using the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter E. Now, when I click and drag out, I can create a circle. The only problem is it's more of an oval and trying to get it to be perfect is going to be difficult. Now, once upon a time, you could use your shift key and click and drag out a perfect circle, but it doesn't seem to be working for me in this version of GIMP. Now, if it's working for you, let me know. Tell me how you did it in the comments below. All right, so for those of us that can't use the keyboard shortcut to create a perfect circle, we're gonna come over here to the tool options and click on fixed. Make sure you have aspect ratio and then have one-to-one -one set for the size. And now we can create a perfect circle selection. The only problem is right now, part of it is outside of the canvas. So if I click on the inside, I can drag that in. We can now fill that in with a color to create our shape. So set your foreground color to whatever you want. Grab your bucket fill tool right here or with shift plus B. Click inside and boom, you have a circle. How cool is that? All right, let's deselect by going up to select and choosing none. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut right here, which is shift plus control plus A. All right, let's find that layer. looks like it's inside this group. So I'm gonna bring that out and I'm gonna go ahead and hide it so I can show you option two for creating circles. All right, so the second option for creating circles is using pre-made circles and I've already made them for you. In fact, I have over 20 shapes you can download via the link in the description below. It's 100% free, so go ahead and check that out. Download those files, unzip the file, go inside the folder, and locate the circle file. You're gonna click and drag that over your document, just like that, and, well, we don't have a circle yet. And that's because this circle is much larger than my canvas. So depending on the size of your canvas, it may fit inside, it may not. If we grab our zoom tool right here and then hold down our control key and click a few times, we will then see the layer boundary, which is the size of the circle. So I'm gonna grab my scale tool right here or use shift plus S to select it. I'm gonna click right here to activate the tool and then I can go ahead and resize this smaller. I'm gonna click right here in the center so I can move it inside. And then when I click scale, it will resize the circle. Pretty cool. All right, with control, shift and J, that will auto zoom to fit the canvas back into the interface window. Now, if you didn't get that keyboard shortcut, go up to view, zoom, and here it is, fit image in window shift plus control plus J. All right, so our third option for creating a circle is, before I tell you, let's go ahead and create a new layer called circle option three. So the third option is using a paintbrush. I know, not mind blowing, but why not use our paintbrushes to create a circle? If we come over here to our tool brushes, you wanna make sure you have a hard edge brush selected, and then you can come in here to the tool options to resize your brush accordingly, or use the scroll button on your mouse to increase or decrease the size of your brush. And I have a tutorial that tells you how to do that. And then once you click inside, boom, you have a circle. All right, check out that video right there to the left. It has a playlist of a ton of tutorials on graphic design projects that you can learn how to do in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.